When General Christian Powell emerged from cryosleep, his fists clenched in rage, because he knew the Paclids would be wiped from the galaxy within hours, and their blood would drench his hands. Powell's eyes snapped open as the cryopod hissed and disgorged its icy mist. He stumbled out, his muscles atrophied from decades of cryostasis. The ship's AI, Aiden, greeted him. Welcome back, General. We have arrived at Pakla Prime, the Paclid homeworld. The year is 2347. You have been in cryostasis for 50 years. 50 years? What the hell happened to the war? E. Powell demanded, steadying himself against the pod. The war has continued in your absence, General. The Pakleds have pushed the United Earth Defense Force to the brink of annihilation. Earth's colonies have been decimated. The fleet is a fraction of its former might. Emperor Belos and his forces are poised for ultimate victory and the extinction of humanity. Powell digested this dire news as he strode onto the bridge of the UADS-V Retribution. The Titan-class warship was humanity's last hope. The bridge was manned by a skeleton crew of battle-weary soldiers, their faces gaunt and scarred. They snapped to attention as Powell entered. He gazed out the viewscreen at the looming visage of Puckler Prime. The weight of the impossible task ahead settled onto his shoulders. The retribution had to succeed in striking the heart of the Paclid Empire, or the human race was doomed. But Powell had built his legacy on snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, against impossible odds. His unconventional tactics were legendary. He would show the Paclids what true fury and true vengeance looked like. He would make them choke on humanity's wrath. The Paclids would regret the day they decided to eradicate humans from the stars. Status report, Powell barked. It was time to get to work. The Pakled's destruction awaited, and he would rain it down upon them with ruthless precision and overwhelming force. As the retribution silently glided towards Pakla Prime, Aiden's sensors lit up with numerous blinking dots, each one representing a Pakled warship. The fleet was massive, far beyond anything Terran intelligence had anticipated. Powell stared at the holographic display, his brow furrowed. The odds were heavily stacked against them, but he refused to let that deter him. He had a plan, and he would see it through. Lieutenant Rodriguez, Sergeant Tanaka, Corporal O'Connor, report to the hangar bay immediately, Powell ordered over the ship's intercom. We're going in. As the chosen few assembled near the cloaked dropship, Powell briefed them on their mission. Rodriguez, a burly man with a scar running down his cheek, nodded grimly. Tanaka, her face an impassive mask, checked her demolition charges. O'Connor, the youngest of the group, fidgeted with his hacking tools. Just as they were about to board, an incoming transmission from the surface caught their attention. Emperor Belos, his voice filled with smug satisfaction, appeared on the screen. General Powell, I've been expecting you, Belos sneered. You really think you can catch me by surprise? I have a special welcome prepared for you and your pathetic team. Powell's eyes narrowed. We'll see about that, Bellos. I'm coming for you. The team boarded the dropship, which slipped undetected through the Pakled fleet. As they entered the planet's atmosphere, the true scale of the Pakled Empire's might became apparent. Colossal factories belched smoke and churned out legions of war machines, Military bases sprawled across the landscape like cancerous growths. Towering statues of Emperor Belos loomed over every city, a constant reminder of his iron grip on the planet. Powell's resolve only hardened at the sight. They had to strike at the heart of this war machine and fast. The dropship set down in a dense forest, far from prying eyes. The team disembarked, checking their weapons and gear. Powell took point, leading them through the undergrowth towards their target, the primary Paclid command center. As they moved through the shadows, an unsettling feeling crept up Powell's spine. The forest was too quiet, the air too still. It felt like a thousand eyes were watching their every move. He signaled for the team to halt. Something wasn't right. The Pakleds knew they were coming and Belos had promised a surprise. The team crouched low, scanning their surroundings, the suspense was suffocating, each passing second stretching into an eternity. What horrors awaited them in the depths of the enemy stronghold? What twisted machinations had Belos set in motion? 
There was only one way to find out. Powell motioned for the team to keep moving, deeper into the heart of darkness. As Powell's team crept closer to the command center, a chilling silence hung in the air. The only sound was the soft crunch of their boots on the forest floor. Suddenly, the stillness was shattered by a flurry of movement. Sleek, black-armored figures materialized from the shadows, their movements fluid and precise. The elite packled warriors had laid a perfect ambush. Plasma bolts sizzled through the air as the team returned fire. Rodriguez ducked behind a tree, his rifle spitting deadly energy at the advancing packleds. Tanaka lobbed a grenade, the explosion sending a group of warriors flying. O'Connor crouched behind a boulder, his fingers flying over his hacking tools. In the midst of the chaos, O'Connor's eyes widened. Sir, I've accessed their comms. You need to hear this. Powell crouched beside him, listening intently. What he heard turned his blood to ice. Emperor Belos's voice, cold and calculating, spoke of a new biological weapon, the Omega Strain, a virus engineered to target human DNA, capable of wiping out entire colonies in mere days. The Paclids were on the verge of unleashing it upon the galaxy. We need to move now, Powell said, his voice grim. If they deploy that virus, it's game over for humanity. As they pushed deeper into the Paclid stronghold, the sights that greeted them grew increasingly disturbing. Paclid soldiers, with grotesquely mutated features, limbs twisted and warped, eyes glowing with an unnatural light. Strange, pulsating technology, looking more organic than machine. An oppressive atmosphere that seemed to drain the life from their very bones. Powell's instinct screamed at him that something was terribly wrong. This was more than just a military base. It was a place of unspeakable horrors, where the Packleds had been tampering with forces beyond their control. They finally breached the command center, only to find it eerily deserted. The halls echoed with an unsettling silence. As they searched for Emperor Belos and the Omega strain, they stumbled upon a hidden laboratory. Inside, tanks of liquid glowed with a sickly green hue. Floating within were grotesque mutated creatures, failed experiments in the Packleds quest for biological supremacy. A deep, menacing laugh echoed through the room. Emperor Belos emerged from the shadows, his body augmented with cybernetic enhancements and his eyes glowing with a malevolent red light. Welcome, General Powell, to the birthplace of your extinction. Powell and his team raised their weapons, exhausted and battered, but ready for their final confrontation. The fate of humanity hung in the balance and they would fight to their last breath to protect it. The room seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy as Bellows stepped forward. The room seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy as Bellows stepped forward, his voice distorted by the cybernetic implants that snaked across his face. You have impressed me, General Powell. Your tenacity, your cunning, they are admirable traits. Powell gripped his rifle tighter, his knuckles white beneath his gloves. I'm not here for your admiration, Bellows. A twisted smile crept across the pack-led leader's face. No, of course not. But consider this, General. Join me, and together we can usher in a new era for the galaxy. A universe where the strong rule over the weak, where the pack -led empire reigns supreme. With your skills and my vision, we would be unstoppable. Disgust welled up in Powell's throat. I'd rather die than join you, you monster. Fellows' eyes narrowed, the red glow intensifying. So be it. The pack-led leader lunged forward, his movements a blur of cybernetically enhanced speed and strength. Powell barely had time to raise his rifle before Belos was upon him, a flurry of blows raining down on his defenses. The team opened fire, plasma bolts sizzling through the air, but Belos seemed to shrug them off, his augmented body absorbing the impacts. He moved like a whirlwind, his attacks precise and devastating. As the battle raged, the laboratory around them began to shudder and groan. The tanks containing the mutated creatures cracked and shattered, spilling their contents onto the floor. The abominations, their bodies twisted and warped by the Packled's experiments, let out unearthly shrieks as they clawed their way towards the combatants. Powell and his team found themselves fighting on two fronts, struggling to fend off both Belos and the mutated horrors. 
Rodriguez grappled with a creature that had once been Pakled, its elongated limbs wrapping around him like tentacles. Tanaka blasted another abomination point-blank, its body exploding in a spray of ichor. But for every creature they put down, two more seemed to take its place. The team was being pushed back, their ammunition running low, and their energy reserves dwindling. O'Connor, his face pale, shouted over the din of battle, We can't keep this up much longer, sir. Powell knew he was right. They were on the brink of being overwhelmed. But then, through the chaos, he saw Tanaka's eyes widen with a sudden realization. She sprinted towards one of the lab's consoles, her fingers flying over the controls. What are you doing? Powell demanded, dodging a swipe from Bellos's augmented claws. Rigging one of their own bioweapons to detonate, Tanaka replied, her voice tense with concentration. It's our only chance. Powell felt a chill run down his spine. He knew what she was proposing, a desperate gambit that could mean the end for all of them. But as he looked around at his battered team, at the unending tide of mutated horrors, he knew it was their only hope. Do it, he ordered, his voice grim. As the countdown began, a new fire ignited in the team's eyes. They surged forward, fighting with renewed vigor, determined to take Belos down with them. Powell launched himself at the pack-led leader, tackling him to the ground. They grappled, rolling perilously close to the ticking bioweapon. Seconds ticked away as the two enemies, locked in mortal combat, teetered on the brink of annihilation. The fate of the galaxy hung in the balance, and time was running out. In a final desperate gambit, Powell lunged at Emperor Belos with a primal roar. The two leaders grappled, trading blows that would shatter bone and rupture organs in lesser beings, but Powell's iron will and unbreakable determination gave him the edge he needed. With a Herculean effort, he lifted the augmented Packlid tyrant off his feet and hurled him into the destabilizing bioweapon. Baylor screamed, a sound of pure rage and disbelief, as the sickly green tendrils of the Omega strain engulfed him, his body contorted, twisting in unnatural angles as the virus ravaged his cybernetic implants and organic tissue alike. Move now, Powell barked, his voice hoarse from exertion and the acrid smoke filling the air. The team bolted, dodging the writhing abominations and the crumbling debris of the command center. Plasma fire from the remaining Packlid soldiers sizzled past them, the air humming with the heat of their deadly energy. Rodriguez, his face a mask of grim concentration, led the charge, his rifle spitting death at any Packlid foolish enough to stand in their way. Tanaka and O'Connor followed close behind, their own weapons adding to the cacophony of battle. The seconds ticked by with agonizing slowness as they raced through the twisting corridors, the countdown to detonation echoing in their minds. The walls shuddered and groaned, the very foundations of the facility buckling under the strain of the impending catastrophe. At last they burst into the hangar bay, their dropship waiting like a beacon of hope amidst the chaos, but the bay was not empty. A horde of mutated packlids, their bodies twisted and fused with the remnants of their armor, stood between them and their escape. Powell and his team didn't hesitate. They charged, their weapons blazing, cutting a path through the abominations with sheer grit and determination. Limbs were severed, bodies burst like overripe fruit, and the air grew thick with the stench of burnt flesh and spilled ichor. They reached the dropship with mere seconds to spare, piling in even as the ramp was rising. The engines roared to life and the small craft shot out of the hangar like a bullet from a gun. Behind them, the command center erupted in a blinding flash of sickly green light. The Omega strain, unleashed in all its terrible glory, consumed everything in its path. Buildings melted like wax, the very ground liquefying and bubbling as the virus spread with horrifying speed. From the viewport of the dropship, Powell watched grimly as the Packlid Empire's greatest weapon devoured its own capital. The once mighty civilization crumbled, its towering spires and vast factories collapsing into the roiling sea of green. It was a Pyrrhic victory, bought with the blood and sacrifice of countless lives, but it was a victory nonetheless. The dropship, battered and barely holding together, limped its way back to the retribution. 
As they docked, Powell could see the astonishment and disbelief on the faces of the crew. They had done the impossible, struck a blow against the Paclid Empire that would be felt for generations. But even as they made the jump back to Earth, Powell couldn't shake the feeling that their fight was far from over. The Paclids were a cunning and ruthless foe, and they would not take this defeat lightly. In the quiet of his quarters, Aiden's holographic form flickered to life. General, I've been analyzing the data we recovered from the Pakled Command Center. The Omega strain? It's not just a weapon. It's part of something bigger. A plan to... Powell listened, his heart growing heavier with each word. The Pakleds had been seeking to assimilate humanity, to use their DNA to create a new breed of soldier, an army of unstoppable warriors, immune to the Omega strain and loyal only to the Empire. He closed his eyes, the weight of this revelation settling onto his already burdened shoulders. The war was far from over. The Pakled threat, thought vanquished, had only retreated into the shadows. But he would be ready, he and all of humanity. They would stand against the darkness no matter the cost, for in a universe filled with such horrors, it fell to men like Christian Powell to be the light, to guide humanity towards a brighter future, even if that future was bought with blood and sacrifice. The retribution hurtled through the void, carrying its battle-weary crew towards an uncertain future. But one thing was certain, the fight would continue, and Powell would be there, leading the charge, until his last breath. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.